Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with the perfect margarita. That's right, I don't often film cocktail videos, but when I do, I choose to drink them afterwards, which I did, and then tried to edit and voice over this video. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, we can proceed. And while there are hundreds of ways you can make this drink, today I'm gonna to be showing you the most primal and what I consider the most perfect three ingredient version. So with that, let's go ahead and get started with those three ingredients. Starting with the most important, a bottle of tequila. And not just any tequila. What you're gonna to wanna to look for is a 100% pure agave Blanco tequila. And yes, Blanco does mean white, but sometimes these are also referred to as silver tequilas, just to confuse people. And no, yours doesn't have to be organic. A little bit of pesticides probably not gonna hurt anything here. And then besides a bottle of white tequila, we are also gonna need some triple sec which is a type of sweet orange liqueur. And while I'm not gonna give you the exact brands in this video, if you drink a lot, you should be able to tell just from the shape of that bottle. But anyway, as usual, I'll be giving specifics in the blog post. And then besides tequila and triple sec, our third and final ingredient will be some freshly squeezed lime juice. Okay, no bottled concentrate, or even worse, pre-made sour mixes. If you can't find fresh limes for this, make something else. But assuming we can, let's take a little wedge of that lime and go ahead and prep our glasses. And to do that, we'll just go around the top moistening that rim so that when we dip it into our salt crystals, it'll stick. And speaking of crystals, what you're gonna wanna use here is a nice coarse sea salt. Okay, if the salt grain is too fine, your drink is gonna taste too salty. So basically, the bigger the better. And we will go ahead and sprinkle some of that on a plate. And then we'll gently press our recently moistened glass in, sort of going around until the rim is coated. And while we do want full coverage, we don't want a ton of salt on here which is why we only sprinkle a thin layer on the plate. And by the way, a lot of recipes list the salt as optional, but it is not. Totally mandatory. Although, as you'll see later, we only consume a little bit of it. But anyway, once the top rim of our glass is garnished with salt, I'm going to go ahead and add one large ice cube to each of these glasses, since one of the secrets to a perfect margarita is to serve it over fresh ice and in a frosty frozen glass, which is why once our glasses have been salted and iced, we will pop those in the freezer until ready to use. And then once our delivery system is set, we can move on to the actual margarita itself. And that will begin by adding some regular ice cubes to this metal cocktail shaker. And we're gonna add exactly seven cubes, since six is not quite enough, and eight would be a little too much. And by the way, the amounts I'm given here make exactly one margarita. And I should mention for best results, use fresh ice. Okay, if you haven't used ice cubes in like nine months, Make some new ones, please, so they don't taste stale. And then once our ice is in, we'll go ahead and add exactly two ounces of white tequila, which most margarita aficionados will tell you is the best style to use. Although, please be careful. After consuming about three or four ounces of this, it will start to act as a truth serum. So consider yourself warned. And then after we add two ounces of tequila, we will follow with exactly one and a half ounces of triple sec. And for me, that's going to provide all the sweetness we need. Okay, some folks will add some simple syrup to this, or agave nectar, but I think that makes this too sweet and throws off the balance. And then last but not least, after the triple sec, we will do exactly one ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And believe it or not, that's it. We will carefully and securely place the top on, and then we're gonna start shaking. We're gonna shake that not like a Polaroid picture. All right, that's more of a waving or fanning motion. We need to go full shake here, as vigorously as we possibly can, and as you do this, you're going to notice that shaker gets really, really cold. And you're going to fairly quickly get some condensation on the surface. But don't stop. We want to shake this until it's literally too cold to hang on to. And we actually have frost forming on the outside. And how long that's going to take is going to be up to you. Since you are, after all, the boss of making frost. And then once we're confident it is literally ice cold, we will go ahead and grab our frozen glass and take off the cap and strain that in. Oh, and by the way, one other tip. Make sure you use a glass that's big enough so that we have at least an inch of space between where our drink comes up to and the salt. Okay, if you fill this all the way up, that salt around the rim is gonna dissolve into your drink and throw everything off. But anyway, we'll go ahead and strain that in and then finish up with a thin slice of lime. And yes, we could garnish this with a wedge of lime, and many people do. But to me, that's just an admission you didn't put in the perfect amount of lime juice when you mixed it. So suit yourself, but I'm going with a purely decorative slice. And that's it. What I consider to be the perfect margarita is done. 
So let me stop talking and start sipping. And of course, guacamole, chips, and salsa are sold separately. And that, mi amigos, is one amazing sip. All right, that first sip across that salted rim basically primes our palate for this literally ice-cold mixture, which for me has the perfect amounts of sweet and sour to balance that tequila. And personally, I only enjoy the salt on the first sip, and then I keep drinking from the same spot on the glass. All right, since you don't necessarily want to drink all that salt, but we'll leave that up to you. Just no complaints if you get bloated. And for the record, the classic recipe is three parts tequila to two parts triple sec to one part lime juice, which I sort of followed here, but I did tweak those amounts slightly to what I think is the perfect ratio, and you may have to do the same. And if for whatever reason the only margaritas you've ever had were done with that pre-made sour mix, you are going to be absolutely blown away by how much better this is. So as long as you're 21 or have a decent fake ID and promise to enjoy these responsibly, I really do hope you give this a try soon. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.